Let's select some vertices, edges, and faces here inside of Blender. Now, not a lot of those going on with the default cube, so I might delete that and replace that with an icosphere. So you guys may have already noticed that no matter where you click or how hard you click on a shape, you can't select anything other than the entire shape itself. So to be able to select individual elements, such as vertices or edges, we need to change the mode. Now note in the upper left corner here, we are in object mode by default. If I click the drop down, we need to get into edit mode. Also note, tapping the tab key will generally jump you back and forth between those two modes. Tapping the tab key just now, I'm back into object mode, tab key again, back into edit mode. Now notice everything is currently highlighted in orange, showing that it's currently selected. I'm going to click in a blank part of the canvas just here to deselect everything. Now before you start making selections, you want to be very aware of what mode you are in. There are three buttons just up here. The first button is vertex mode. The second is edge mode. The third is face mode. So the first button is active. So we are in vertex select mode just now. So if I want to select this vertex just here, if I just click and release, you can see we get a little bit of highlighting. If I was to tap the G key just now, which jumps me into the move tool, you can see I'm now happily moving that single vertex around. I'll press escape to get out of there. If you want to select multiple vertices, hold down the shift key. So I can select this guy up here, this one down here, gain G key. You can see I've got those selected and moving them around like so. I'll just click in a blank part to deselect. There's another way you can select, that is by clicking, dragging, and releasing. So let's say I wanted a bunch of points selected just up here. I'll click, drag, and release to select them all. G key, I'm happily moving them around. Let's go and switch modes just now. Let's go up here and grab the edge select mode. So it's the second button just there. Deselect everything, and if I want this edge just here, click and release. G key, happily moving that one edge around. Same as before, if I hold down the shift key, I can select multiple edges, and same as before as well, if I click drag and release, I can select multiple edges like so. The third mode, face mode. No big surprises here, guys. Click and release to select a single face. Shift key allows me to get multiple faces. Clicking to deselect. If I click drag and release, I can select multiple faces like so. Now there's a fantastic keyboard shortcut for those buttons. And it's very simple, it's the numbers one, two, and three. So notice I'm currently in the face mode just up here. If I tap the one key just now, it jumps me into vertex mode, two, into edge mode, three, into face mode, like so. So if you're doing a lot of selecting here inside of the edit mode, guys, the numbers one, two, three can be very handy for you. Now in a moment, I'd like to point out a mode that might be very helpful for you. But before I do, I'm going to switch into Vertex select mode, and I'm going to click drag and release over the entire shape. So it looks like I've selected every single vertex here, right? Well, let's find out. Tap in the G key, or make a move. Okay, so this is kind of weird. A whole bunch of points are moving, but a whole bunch aren't. Let me hit escape to get out of there. Now I'm just going to hold my middle mouse button down and move around so we can see the back here. And okay, this is interesting you can see that we had all of the vertices on the front faces selected, but nothing on the back. So if I roll back to the front just here, you can see by default, Blender is only selecting vertices, edges, or faces that we can see. Now, the mode I was alluding to just a moment ago is up here. It's this little icon just here. And when you hover over it, you can see it says toggle X-ray. So if I turn that on just now, Okay, this got really interesting. We can now see not just the vertices, edges, and faces at the front, but also those on the back of the shape. So if I click away to deselect, let me click drag and release over the entire shape again just now. Now if I tap the G key, make a move, everything comes along for the ride. Escape to get out of there. So if, for example, I clicked, dragged, and release over just the left side, you can see if I roll around, you can see that it has indeed selected all of those vertices on the back as well. So that mode, very handy, and it was just up here again. Toggle X-ray, you can see that's how it is by default. 
toggling it on allows us to see through the shape to the things behind it. There's one last thing I would like to show you. I'm just clicking to deselect and I might just turn off X-ray mode. It's a little easier to see what's going on just here. There is a select menu just here. Lots of fantastic things in here, guys. I encourage you to explore. But there's one option I want to point out for you just now, and that's the invert one. So if I, for example, just select this one vertex just here, if I come up to select, invert, it inverts my selection. So that one vertex that was selected is now not selected, and everything else is now selected. And the reason I'm showing you this is because there are some situations where it's easier to select what you don't want. And if that's the case, do that, and then simply go up to Select, Invert, and it might help you out. I might wrap things up there, guys. I hope that helps you with your selecting of vertices, edges, and faces here inside of Blender. Catch you later.